Hello, everyone, and welcome to the One a Marketing Thing podcast. Today, we have a great topic, the Storyteller's Guide, Crafting Compelling Narratives for Brands. everyone. I'm your host, Antoinette Blake, and you're watching the One a Marketing Thing a podcast. Now, you know what? We started this podcast for digital marketers because we wanted to provide them with expert advice from industry veterans that have decades of experience. And you can't tell by this young man here, Kevin McGrew, but he's going to be talking about the Storyteller's Guide, Crafting Compelling Narratives for Brands. But before we talk about that, Kevin, welcome and tell us a little bit about yourself. Thanks, Antoinette. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, excited to talk to you guys a little bit about um, storytelling. It's um, something that we do all the time in marketing. But before we go there, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a digital agency owner. I own an agency called EverSocial, and we help small businesses uh, that are looking to grow online, find their clients and grow their business uh, using digital marketing channels and and ways to reach their clients and so um we've been doing this for about 10 years we are uh we have an office on the east coast and the west coast so we kind of know how to speak both languages and um we love working with uh growing businesses and digital marketers across the country and kevin talking about connecting and i like to say connecting in an h to h manner you know human mm -hmm. to human or heart to heart storytelling is one of the best ways in which to do so so tell us about you know the guide you know the guide how crafting compelling narratives can be great for our brands when we're connecting with our uh, clients absolutely yeah i think you know clients today are inundated with um, messages from everywhere, uh, social media, from visual ads, uh, outdoor ads, you name it. And, you know, their brains are really trying to figure out what they're looking for things they like. And people resonate with stories, you know, go back to campfires, go back to ancient days. That's how uh, history has been told through stories. And um, we all love a good movie. So if you like movies, you like stories. And the, the difficulty is a lot of brands really do not know how to create their own brand narrative to um, help somebody fall in love with who they are. You know, everybody wants to show the all the good stuff. And, you know, building a brand narrative or a story, brand story for someone is all about being authentic. And so authenticity is um, a key factor in, in, in it's hard for brands to, what do I reveal? What do I not reveal? But the more um, you, you build a protagonist in your story, you have a little bit of your history in the story, how you um, came about, um, how you solve problems for your clients. You know, um, these things need to be woven in a story-like manner, not just featured as uh, features and benefits on a brochure. And so, um, and having a strategy in place to leverage all the storytelling channels that are out there from uh, Facebook, Instagram, to TikTok, to YouTube, um, you know, we, we have all these tools available and it's overwhelming, honestly, for most small brands and growing brands on, you know, what to tell, when to tell it, where to tell it. And so that's kind of where we help people work, walk through that process, Antoinette. And the key uh, point that you, you brought out, Kevin, was the authenticity. I think that's what consumers are looking for. They're looking to to see you, they want to see themselves and what you're providing, right? Absolutely, yeah. So, you know, we, we actually created um, a brand messaging guide for our clients using an acronym called STORIES. And so through that process, a lot of our customers can um, walk through the steps of the acronym. And I'll just share them real quick, but Thank you. happy yes. to provide that. And if you want to put it in the show notes. Uh, yes, that would be great. But, that's something that people can use, but um, S in story stands for set the stage. You know, a lot of people um, 
don't know the context in which they're going to engage with your brand. And so you need to set the stage as a brand on how people are going to interact with you, how they're going to learn your story. And so I won't go into all the details of that, but that's the first, uh, the S is the set the stage. T stands for tap into the emotion. Mm. Um, so you want to connect with your audience. You want to be able to connect with them at an emotional level, evoke feelings of joy, empathy, um, innovation, inspiration. And um, yeah, you want to be able to do that methodically in not a salesy way, mm -hmm. but in a way that they can actually relate. Um, and then the next one, O stands for, and I'm looking over here because I got two screens, but nope, that's good. O is for outline the journey. And so a lot of people just start to talk about their story. They really haven't outlined the journey that the client is going through. If you understand your audience and their actual journey and how, where do they intersect with your brand? How are they, where are they entering the, the brand story? Then you can know how to tell that story at that level. Um, relate R S T O R R stands for relate to your audience. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> a lot of brands are starting about me, you know, me, the brand, I'm this, we're this, we're the number one company. We're the number one realtor in this area, whatever it is. And people don't care how much, you know, until they know how much you care. Exactly. So it's really important to make your story relatable to your target audience. Um, I is inject authenticity. So again, we talked about a little bit earlier. Authenticity is, I would say, key. You know, um, in uh, people don't people can smell inauthenticity very quickly, and so um, be vulnerable, be mm -hmm. transparent, um, share your learnings, the, the your maybe failure, some of your failures, and how you fixed them, and now you're solving that problem for your clients. Um, that is very important to be genuine and transparent in all aspects, especially online, because people will smell a rat real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then E is engage with conflict. So every compelling story needs conflict. If, you know, if you watch any movie out there, whether it's Star Wars, Superman, I mean, DC comics, you name it, there's a bad guy. There's a good guy. Mm -hmm. You got to have a way that you overcame an obstacle. And so you need to um, identify with the conflicts and the obstacles that the brand has faced in the past and how you've overcome those. Um, so engage with the conflict. Don't run from the conflict. A lot of people will do that. And then the last uh, letter in the acronym is S for in stories is mm -hmm. spark imagination. Mm. So, you know, I think a lot of people fail to um, just brainstorm with or you know share vision with their blue sky with their clients on you know what how their brand is participating in solving those problems in the marketplace so you know pay, painting vivid um and captivating imagery you know um cast vision you know let people catch the vision and follow you where you're where you're going you know if you look at uh brands like yeti for example mm -hmm. you know yeti might be known for coolers, but they're really known for outdoor experiences. Okay, okay. You know, and so that's really, if you look at their social media, they're, they're not selling a cooler on there for 50% off or whatever. They're selling a guy who's out in the middle of nowhere, opening up a cooler and he's got cold beer or <laughs> drinks to have, right? Right. So he's out in the hot, sweaty desert and he's got something cold to drink. It's that experience that you're selling. So what brand, what is your brand? How does it participate in the lives of your uh, clients and allow them to experience what you're bringing to the table? So that's kind of an analogy that we've created in helping brands kind of think through what they need to, to craft their uh, compelling messaging or narrative for their brand. And I love that, Kevin. And, and we, we will add all these steps, the acronyms for all these steps, because you know what? People don't buy Again, they buy with emotion. You got to make them feel good. What's the pain point that you're solving? And they have to see you in that. So this is definitely some great, you know, great, great um, tips, um, you know, setting the stage up to, you know, sparking the imagination. I love it. 
Well, I, you know, I find acronyms. I was in the military at some okay. point. And <laughs> there's so much to learn. You know, it's like drinking water from a fire hydrant, you know, a lot of times. And I think for a lot of businesses, marketers, small business owners, marketing is like drinking water from a fire hydrant. There's so mm -hmm. much to know, so much to learn that, you know, you're over, you feel overwhelmed and an acronym can bring it back to simply simple again for you. And so we, as much as possible, try to create these um, acronyms for our clients to utilize as a framework to begin the process. And that works for me. I think that works for everybody. If you can break it down into an acronym, you can remember it better. So Kevin, thank you so very much for sharing this storyteller's guide, crafting a compelling narrative for brands and using these acronyms for stories is really great. I mean, I wrote them down here and I'm pretty sure our listeners and, and viewers will do the same. So we thank you so very much, Kevin, for just giving us a few minutes of your time. And, you know, you shared some real gems today. Well, it's a privilege. I appreciate the invitation and um, look forward to uh, helping out again if I can. Well, I'm definitely going to give you a call back because we need to bring you back because, you, you know, that Cincinnati thing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. And you know what? If you want to uh, send an email to learn more about Kevin, send an email to editor at passionatemarketers.com. Again, Kevin, thank you so very much for just giving us a few minutes of your time today. And we also want to thank our sponsor, Propel, because they are a unique reviews, automation, and management platform. And they are the number one tool for turning those you know, website visitors into customers. And that's what our small businesses need today. So thank you guys. And we'll see you soon. This was the One Marketing Thing podcast.